What is the link between NASA, United Airlines, and Wendy's? All of these brands use the power of Twitter marketing to grow their businesses, connect with their audiences, build communities, and provide excellent customer service. Twitter has more than 217 million daily active users, so it should be a key part of your marketing plan. The microblogging site has a lot of users, and it is also the seventh most popular network in the world. By 2024, it is expected to have more than 340 million daily users. But since 350,000 tweets are sent every minute and 500 million are sent every day, you need to be smart and clever to get and keep the attention of your audience and reach your Twitter marketing goals. If this fast-moving network makes you feel scared, don't. We have everything you need to make and use a highly effective Twitter marketing plan that gets results. Before you start marketing on Twitter, you need a good social media marketing plan, just like you do for any other network. The key to success is to know how the platform works and how it fits into your social media plan as a whole. So, where do you start when making a business plan for Twitter? We've listed the things that make a good base below. Check your books. Does your company already have a Twitter account? If so, does it have more than one? Your first step should be to make a list of all the accounts you already have and who on your team has been in charge of each one. Don't forget to look for both normal and Twitter professional accounts. Once you have your list, go through each account you find and look at it carefully. Get information such as, how often does this Twitter account tweet? How many people are interested? How many people are following it? You can get these stats from Twitter Analytics or Hootsuite Analytics. Set goals. Having clear, measurable goals is the first step to being successful on any social media site. You can't tell if your business plan is working unless you know what you're trying to accomplish. You should set SMAR goals, which are goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and have a deadline. So, going viral is not a valid reason. These goals should be in line with your big picture business goals and be broken down into things that can be used to measure success. For instance, you might want to get more people to visit your website. Make that into a semi-art goal by trying to get more people to click through on average. You can use the click-through rate you got from your Twitter audit as a starting point to set a specific goal that you can reach in an acceptable amount of time like going from 1.5% to 2.5% in three months. Check out what else is out there. Keep your friends close and your foes closer, as the saying goes. Even though it might feel sneaky, you shouldn't forget to check out the Twitter accounts of your competitors in the same field. Taking a look at their social media can help you improve your own by showing you where their approach is weak or where you can stand out. If you want to be really smart, make a private Twitter list of your rivals so you can see what they are tweeting and talking about in real time. If you want to learn more about competition analysis, you can use this free template that you can change to fit your needs. Create rules. You need a style guide for social media to make sure that everything you say is clear and uniform. Guidelines also help you get new people on your team up to speed and keep accidents and mistakes from happening on social media. Your rules should be shared with everyone on your social media team. They may include parts of your general brand style guide, like your tone and information about your audience. But it should also be specific to how you use social media like Twitter with information like hashtags with brands and how to use them, how you use emojis and where how to put links together. On Twitter, people talk about good, bad, and weird things, so you should be ready for anything. Criticism is inevitable, especially as your account grows, so you should plan how to reply to trolls and handle a PR crisis. Remember that it's much better to have those things and not need them than to need them and not have them. Make a calendar of your information. Planning your content ahead of time takes a little bit of time, but it will save you time and stress in the long run. Trust us. You'll be glad you did it when you don't have to scramble at the last minute to come up with a funny, unique tweet for hashtag National Dumbnut Day. A social media content schedule helps you make sure that the content you post on all of your channels is consistent and helps you find any gaps or potential problems that you can fix. It also lets you plan ahead and take advantage of chances for timely or interesting content, 
like talking about how you help the environment on Earth Day or honoring the woman who started your business on International Women's Day. Look at your numbers. Once your Twitter marketing plan is up and running, you need to keep track of your efforts and compare them to the semi-art goals you set. But the amount of information you can get can be confusing. We get it. You have access to a lot of measures, including vanity metrics, that don't always tell you anything useful. So think about which measurements are the most important. It's great that a funny meme got a lot of shares, but did any of that attention lead to conversions or sales? Collecting useful data will help you show that your marketing efforts are worth it and give you information that will help you improve your strategy over time. Five important business tools on Twitter. Marketing on Twitter is more than just sending out a tweet every now and then. There are many tools and features on the social network that can help you make the most of your Twitter marketing efforts. Depending on your Twitter marketing plan, it may not make sense to use them all right away, but you should take the time to figure out which ones will help you reach your goals. So let's look inside and figure them out. 1. Twitter Trends Twitter makes a lot of buzz quickly about different things. When a topic, word, phrase, or hashtag becomes popular, this is called a trending topic or trend. Markers can use Twitter trends to find out what people are talking about or talking about on the site. This can help you figure out what your audience is interested in. Twitter is all about being current and relevant. Checking for downward trends lets you know which topics are on their way out so you don't start to talk about something that has already happened. 2. Circle on Twitter Everyone wants to be in with the cool people, and Twitter Circle gives you the chance to make a small audience of your own choosing and tweet only to that group, up to 150 people. People in your Twitter Circle are the only ones who can see and respond to the tweets. For marketers, your circle could be a group of important brands and people who have a lot of impact. You could use this feature to show that your brand is a thinking leader or to share information about your industry that your audience would find useful. 3. Communities on Twitter The whole point of social media is to build your business, your audience, and your community. So it stands to reason that Twitter communities are a great way to sell on Twitter. Like Discord, Facebook groups, and even Slack, Twitter communities lets you start or join groups of accounts with similar interests and pick out material that fits their needs. For instance, let's say you have an online store that sells healthy wine. You could start a Twitter community for people who like natural and organic wines, share content, start conversations, provide value, and raise awareness of your brand among a group of people who are interested and involved. But keep in mind that Twitter communities aren't for selling things. Instead of trying to get people to convert, you should focus on building a community and making important connections. 4. Spaces on Twitter Twitter Spaces, which is available on iOS, is the app's version of a live audio chat room, kind of like Clubhouse. In Spaces, users can host or join in on audio conversations, which is pretty cool for brands and companies. For example, Spaces are a great place to hold real-time queue and ads, ask me anything AMAs, or fireside chats with a busy, interested audience. Spaces can also help your brand become known as a thought leader if you hold conversations and get-togethers that are related to your business. Social audio on Twitter is still in its early stages, but since live audio is so powerful, this is the feature you should use the most to interact with your audience in real time. 5. Twitter Lists When you open your Twitter feed, it can feel like you've walked into a big, loud party where a million people are talking at once. There are so many things going on that it's hard to pay attention to just one. Because of this, Twitter lists are a great way to focus on the talks that really matter to your business. These lists are tailored feeds from certain accounts that let you follow important conversations or people. On Twitter, you can make as many lists as you want, well, up to a thousand after which you have to log off. And unlike the main feed, which is sorted by a secret algorithm, tweets in your lists are in order of when they were posted. This makes it easier to keep up with issues and events as they change. You might want to make a list of the accounts of your competitors, important thought leaders in your field, and the people on your own team. Don't forget that lists are public, so give them names that make sense. It may take a little time to grow your lists, but in the end, they will help you use Twitter more effectively and wisely.
From the simplest to the most complicated, here are 10 Twitter marketing tips. 1. Optimize your picture. Having a professional Twitter profile that fits your brand helps you make a great first impact on people who might follow you. Think about how each part of your profile helps to build your brand and tell people about you. Handle. This is your Twitter account name, and it's how people will find you. In general, you want your social media handles to be the same and include your business name. Profile picture. Every tweet you send will have your personal picture next to it, so you want it to look good. Use your logo or wordmark, and make sure to use the right dimensions for a clear picture. Header picture. Your profile page shows your header picture, which you may want to change more often than your profile photo. It can show what activities are going on, give information, or show what your company is like. Bio. In 160 characters or less, you can tell people who visit your Twitter account who you are in your bio. You are all. Include a link to your company's website or the latest campaign, but remember to change it when you're done. Location. Set the area of your business or leave it blank if you do business all over the world. The world-famous fast food chain, Wendy's does a great job of optimizing their profile with relevant images, a snappy bio written in the company voice that tells the audience exactly what kind of brand they are and a relevant URL to their site. 2. Get to know your customers. Twitter is a place where people talk a lot. Even though you can, and should, use pictures and videos, the best way to get fans and connect with followers is to have a voice that is genuine and interesting and to interact with your audience. If you haven't found your brand's voice yet, this is probably the first step you should take before jumping in and talking to your community. Here are some suggestions. Show who you are. Your brand voice should be the same on all of your sites and show what your brand stands for. Are you edgy? Funny? Inspirational? Bold? Your tweets should show that you have these traits. Be human. People don't like tweets that sound like they were written by a robot or from a script. Twitter users want to know that there's a live person behind your account who is reading and responding to what they say. Use simple, easy-to-understand English instead of jargon and acronyms. Be original. Don't keep tweeting the same thing. It's a big no-no to post the same thing on all of your social media sites. If each of your tweets is the same, you'll seem like spam. Be real. Twitter's goal isn't to get as many followers as possible, but to help you connect with users and gain their trust. 3. Run a poll on Twitter. Twitter doesn't have as many creative ways to connect with people as Facebook or Instagram. It's mostly about talks, like replies, mentions, and tweet threads that look like they belong in a movie. Twitter polls are one thing that don't follow this pattern. You can ask a question on Twitter and give up to four answers for people to choose from. Polls are an easy and fun way to get people interested in what you have to say. People love to say strong things about small things on Twitter, and they are good for you as well. With polls, you can get comments and opinions, find out what customers like, get ideas for products, and more. They can't take the place of deep study methods, but they can give you quick and useful information. 4. Plan the best times to post your tweets. Schedule your tweets instead of posting them one at a time. This will take your Twitter approach to the next level. Scheduling helps you stay on top of your content plan and make the most of the time you spend on social media. So, you'll never miss an important tweet because you were late to an afternoon meeting. You can also schedule your tweets to post at the best times and get more people to follow you. These times are based on how busy people are on Twitter. Your audience may be more active at other times. By using analytics to track your success, you can find out what times work best for you and then change when you post. 5. Let's get visual for better engagement. A picture is worth a thousand words, which is especially helpful on Twitter, where you only have 280 characters to work with. With each text, you can say more if you use visuals. For example, you could add a chart or infographic to a tweet that gives information or a beautiful photo to a tweet that gives motivation. A movie can help you get and keep people's attention, which is great for campaigns or product launches. Also, adding pictures and videos to your tweets is a sure way to get more people to interact with them.
Up to three times as many people interact with tweets with pictures, and up to 10 times as many people interact with tweets with videos. GS are another fun thing you can add to your tweets, and they increase interest by 55%. Through Twitter's GIF library, you can add them right to your tweets. Images, including GIS, and videos don't count against your 280 character cap, which is a nice bonus. Tip. Make sure your videos are designed for mobile, since 93% of people who watch videos do so on a handheld device, according to Twitter. 6. Learn how to use thread well. With a Twitter thread, you can share a string of tweets in order. Think of a Twitter thread as a way to post longer pieces of information in each tweet. This style is good for telling stories, giving more information, or giving updates. Erica Schneider, who is the head of content at the marketing firm Grizzle, did her own study on the value of Twitter threads. She found that thread tweets with a link got 508% more engagement than a single tweet with the same link. Something to think about as you build your Twitter content plan. 7. Learn about hashtags. Hashtags are used on all social media sites, but they started on Twitter, and they are still a great way to get more people to interact with you and find you on the site. If you know how and when to use hashtags on Twitter, your content will have a bigger effect and you'll be able to reach new people who share your interests. Find the best terms to use. Use hashtags that fit your business and area. Checking out what names your competitors are using can give you ideas. Make your own name. This is a unique term for your business that can be used to collect and organize content about your brand. They are great for marketing campaigns and finding content made by users. Do what's popular. The latest trending topics, including hashtags, are shown on Twitter's Explore page. By joining these talks, your posts will be seen by more people. Just make sure you know what's going on so you don't do anything stupid. Don't overdo it. The best number of hashtags per tweet is 1 to 2. 8. Social listening is a way to tune in. Twitter isn't just a place to talk. It's also a place to listen. Social listening means paying attention to Twitter conversations that give you information about your business and community. You can find out what people think of your business and products, and you can also learn from discussions about other popular topics. Social listening helps you improve your message, gain customer loyalty and trust, and deal with problems and complaints before they happen. You should pay attention to some of the following. Your company name. The names of your competition hashtags or trends in the industry, topics that are hot and relevant. Find out what people are saying by using Twitter's advanced search tool. You can also set up streams on Hootsuite to keep an eye on keywords, hashtags, comments, and other important information. 9. Run an ad campaign. Once you know how to use Twitter in a natural way, it's time to move on to the next level and run your first ad campaign. Advertising on Twitter can help you reach more people, sell more goods, get more people to visit your website, and do other things. You can choose to promote your account to get more followers or to promote specific tweets to get more people to interact with them and bring more attention to your cause. Twitter ads lets you choose your group very carefully and gives you a lot of information about how your campaign did and how much it cost per action. So you can get your campaign to the right people and find out quickly which campaign themes work best. Find out more about Twitter ads to learn how to start your first campaign. 10. Use UTM settings to figure out how well you did. Say hello to UTM settings if you're ready to get a little more advanced with your social media data and analytics. You can add these short text codes to your links to increase traffic and sales. They can name the source, the platform, the name of the campaign, and more. You can add them right in Hootsuite Composer or through Google Analytics. By collecting this information, UTM parameters show you exactly how people find your website, which tweets work best, how much your influencer ads are making you money, and more. They are a great way to figure out how your Twitter approach and other social media efforts affect the bottom line of your business.